Welcome to Make Workshop, where we check out tools, toys, and tech built for makers. Today, we're going to look at a touch screen that has haptic feedback without any moving parts. This is the Tanvis touch screen development kit. It's really interesting. It's a touch screen that gives you haptic feedback without any moving parts at all. It's really hard to describe this on video because it's all about feel and touch and the sensation that you have in your fingertip while you're using it. The best way I've found to kind of display it is to get the microphone really close so you can hear it and then describe what it feels like while you're touching it. The sensation that you get on your finger is very similar to if you've ever been washing the dishes and you have like a plastic container, like a Tupperware kind of thing, and you clean it up and you rub your finger across it and it makes that kind of like burp sound or like Arr! sound and you kind of feel that, that's kind of what it feels like on your finger. They're using a process called electroadhesion where they're physically changing the a mount that your finger adheres to the surface as you're moving it. There's no vibration motor in here, but it does kind of vaguely feel like the vibration motor in a phone. But there's no moving parts, so it's not quite the same. It's interesting. They have a few demos that they ran me through, and I'm going to show you some footage of those, and it's pretty cool but I still feel like it's really hard to convey the sensation when you're using it. You're not feeling bumps. You're, you're feeling a, a variation in the surface. So, you know, even in a demo where you're running your finger across this, this tarantula, you're not feeling like fur and bumps and three-dimensional stuff. You're just feeling that it is different. And it might be easy to dismiss that and say, well, you know, they're not, they're not able to show this super high fidelity three-dimensional difference, but man, a little bit of haptic feedback goes a long way. I just keep thinking about touch screens in cars and how I hate the fact that you can't feel to do things on that touch screen anymore and being able to feel like where a button is or something like that might help you not uh, take your focus off of the road as much. I think it's very cool. To show kind of a visual example of what you're feeling and how this all works, I'm gonna look, look at this demo. This is a tarantula that as I rub my hand across it, I can actually feel the legs and the body and I don't have to necessarily see it. Now, of course, it doesn't feel furry or three-dimensional. It's more like, it's just like some some more resistance on the screen as I pass over a leg right there or something like that. Now my fingers are pretty calloused from uh, you know yard work and woodworking and stuff like that um, so I have a little bit of trouble distinguishing between like the body and the legs but I can feel that there's a difference there and I think that's pretty impactful. Now, when you're developing with this, you're actually creating an image map of the texture you want. Let me hide the visual part of this, and you can see that this is the actual texture map that you work from. And you can create different textures and different amounts by making a grayscale image uh, for your application for like the different buttons and different, you know, kind of uh, interface items. This is a development kit so you're not really buying this as a product although you do get this display mostly what you're doing is you're buying a development kit to learn the API so that you can integrate this into a product you're developing now admittedly that's a very narrow group of people that watch these videos that would be interested in this but I think anybody that's developing a touchscreen application should maybe look into this technology the development kit is about $2,000. You can develop in C Sharp, C++, or C. And then it also has like a whole slew of graphical interfaces that you can use to learn that I've been demoing through.
to this video. If you want to learn more, go to tanvas.co. That's T A N V A S.co. Hope you enjoyed the video today. I have a whole pile of stuff sitting right behind the camera there that I've got to make videos on that are awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the little notification bell so that you get notified as soon as we publish the new videos.